send you new break. I had some really old school, school bricks and bad gum. They weighed three times as this. So Lack says when your building's higher, you don't need heavy bricks. You need heavy bricks when you work it, like building them up, ground up. So when you get more higher, you don't need that heavy bricks. So I've got some bricks. So what I'm doing, I'm just seeing how many for the moment, not mortaring it up, but I'm just seeing how many will go in. Um, of course, there will be space in between the brick for the mortar. But I'm just analysing that have oh, I got enough bricks? So that would cover the top bricks. Um, what's going to happen is I don't know if you can see it, but. Let's get rid of that. I'll be putting one of these somewhere in between to get airflow. This is an air vent brick because you can see all them holes in them. One will be going outside and one will be inside. So it won't need an electric uh, ventilation system. Uh, we'll just have a brick version and you won't need any electricity to run a ventilation in the bathroom. So you're wondering where I'm at in the bathroom guys. It's just got a new bath set in and I'm trying to fill in this bath set. I'm trying to get this wallpaper off, uh, painted wallpaper off and we'll work on that later. But at the moment I bought 10 of these engineering bricks. I've got this ventilation brick. I'll be needing another one of these. So that will be going in the middle. So that will show you. So imagine I brick them up because it'll, when I put water in it'll be it'll be a bit built up. This one hmm. It's not that wide but I'll have to do I'll have to just uh, work with it best I can and yeah that there and probably a brick another brick on top well you get the idea of what I mean um, so what I'll be needing is two of these so this is what I mean it's a good thing to put the bricks in just to analyze what's happening and the breeze lick is a bit slimmer, so I'm going to buy another one to put on the side of it to mortar it in, get leveled up, and get another one. So I'll need three more two on this side, and another breeze block on that side, and two breeze blocks here. Um, I'm just going to put the other bricks in and see if I'll be needing any more but like I said 10 should be sufficient now it doesn't have to be brickwork 
Don't need to lock that tidy when you're tidying up in between the bricks and when you mortar the side bits because I'm going to have initially a plaster put on it so I'm going to put a lamp plaster on top so that should uh, be okay and uh, yeah just uh, get this in best I can like I said there'll be mortar bedded at the bottom first and then these going in like so so I'll be needing maybe some smaller ones to fit into these gaps but like I said this gap on the other side it is quite wide it is quite wide and I'm thinking well could I get away with maybe putting bricks on the side of it like that so I'm just thinking maybe I can get away with that um, and uh, yeah seems like I could get away with that because there's still air coming in between these bricks which is very important that should be observed that should be uh, left clear <coughs> so I'm just uh, filling up just seeing how many short and how many is needed so some for that side so let's see what's happening here grinder I mean I don't need to get my grinder but when I start putting these bricks in I want you to So, um, 
many more bricks would I need? So just imagine all them. I'm thinking all them bricks on that side. Half of them will be coming on this side. So I'm just seeing how many I will be needing on this side. So man, you have got a minus one brick for the breeze block. I'll have to minus one of that. So it will be, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, okay, let's see, one, two, so this block would be in here, like so. Of course it wouldn't be going in that way, because the strength of it wouldn't be that great if it were going in sideways like that. I'll be um, cutting it a bit shorter so it would fit into them little gaps as it went up. And um, so I'll just say that side is, just say that side is done. Um, and then I'll be needing uh, <clears throat> I'll be needing one, two, three, four more, four more of these engineering bricks. So I'm four short, guys. Um, of course, I'm um, taking into account the mortar that will be going in. So, um, yeah, one, two, three, four short. Um, if you only have these, don't lay them upright as the bond will be weak. Yes, yes, you're right, Robert. You have to be right. See, I would never put it like that because the tensile weakness will be weak on its side. It will be weak. Even though I've got lime water in there, I'm going to put it flat with the lime water because it's got the holes, it'll have more lime water, which is Yippee for these kind of bricks, having lime water in between them. So, yeah, I'm going to get about four more and a breeze block, three more breeze blocks. Three more of these breeze blocks. Um, yep. And just put another one on the back of it. And just put a bit of mortar on sides, top when I get it in. But not needed. Okay. engineering bricks and of course I had a pr um, breeze block before I've got a runny nose guys I don't know if you can see that but I had a breeze block before so I'll see you guys later <laughs> 